Assalamu alaikum. This is me, Zainab Khan from BSBT Bastion. I'm holding the IDs to 001023-1020. And my course is Principles of Chemistry 1. This is a part of presentation 1, which content are Kinetic Science, Slime, Plato, and Phone Maps. So let's talk about what is Kinetic Science. Kinetic Science is made of 90% sand and 2 percent polydimethyl cellophane, and it resembles the properties of red sand. Polydimethyl cellophane, a silicon oil, which is a liquid polymerized cellophane, a functional group of organic compounds containing carbon silicon bonds with organic side chain, which makes stick together. So next is chemistry of kinetic sand ingredients. So here we discuss about the ingredients which are used in kinetic sand and their chemistry. So first ingredient is sand. Chemical formula of sand is SiO2, a silicon atom connected with two oxygen atoms. Silicon, uh, kinetic sand is coated with silicon oil. Silicon oil is a chain-like molecule called polymer that contains the element silicon and oxygen. In sand, each oxygen has gone pair. This means there is slightly negative electron density occurred. Next is polydimethyl cellophane. Polydimethyl cellophane is also known as dimethyl polycellophane or dimethycon. Belongs to a group of polymeric organosilicon compounds that are commonly referred to as silicones. The chemical formula of polydimethyl cellophane a long chain with silicon oxygen. Silicon non organic body and organic non polar surface made up of methyl group, in which carbon atom with each hy uh, three hydrogen pushing outward. Uh, this is a continued part. Uh, polydimethyl cellophane polymer is very flexible, so the molecules are able to move around so that the most ideal interaction occurs. This means that as 3 DMS chain get close enough to shape their parts around in a way that allows so many possible multiple hydrogen bonds. So, what are hydrogen bonds? These are the intermolecular interactions that are not an extra chemical bond. They are definitely an interaction that cause molecules to stick together. However, in general, hydrogen bonds are much weaker than chemical bonds and can easily broken. So next uh, topic is slime. Slime is made after a chemical reaction between two main ingredients, polyvinyl alcohol and boratine. Polyvinyl alcohol can be found in simple PVA glue and boratine is created when bicarbonate of soda, baking soda, is mixed with content, contact lens solution. It is a super important to make sure that the solution are you are using the same the ingredients, boric acid and sodium bicarbonate, which gives a slime. Next, uh, chemistry of slime ingredients. So first ingredient that are used in slime is polyvinyl alcohol. Polyvinyl alcohol is a water-soluble synthetic polymer. It has an idealized formula, CH2CHOH. Uh, CH it is used in pa uh, paper making, textile, wrap sizing as a thickener and emulsional uh, stabilizer in PVSs. It has a formulation and a variety of coatings. It is colorless and odorless. It is commonly supplied as beads or as solution in water. Next. One uh, ingredient used in slime is boratine. Borates are composed of trigonal planar or tetrahedral structural units uh, joined together via shared electron oxygen atom and maybe cyclic or linear in structure. Adding borate solution or sodium tetraborate like hydrate dissolves in water create borate ions. These ions help link to polymer molecules from blue in process called cross linking. So second is Play-Doh. Mm -hmm. This is the third topic of our presentation, Play-Doh. Play-Doh is composed of pure water salt, water salt, body acid, and mineral oil. This combination of ingredients create a soft, squeezable, non-toxic, and durable poly compound. A compound is a mixture of two or more mm -hmm. separate elements. The mineral oil helps give the Play-Doh a smooth texture. Ingredients used in uh, Play-Doh are corn starch, baking soda, and water. So here we discuss about the chemistry of the ingredients which are used in Play-Doh. First one is corn starch. 
Cornstarch chemical formula of cornstarch is C six H ten O five, and cornstarch is usually made of seventy seven percent amylose and seventy three percent amylopectin. Cornstarch is primarily used as a cooking agent. It is made of long chain of starch molecules that will unravel and swell when heated in the presence of moisture. This swelling or gelatinization in which cause takes place. Second ingredient is baking soda. Sodium bicarbonate is formed by mixing soda, uh, carbon, sodium, hydrogen, oxygen molecules. This mixture, also known as baking soda, it is salt compound of sodium cation and bicarbonate anion. So, uh, baking soda is a leavening agent. It becomes activated when it's combined with both an acidic ingredient and a liquid. Upon activation, carbon dioxide is precipitated, produced. Which allows baked goods to rise and become light and fluffy. And the third ingredient is water. Its chemical formula is H2O, meaning that each of its molecules contains one oxygen and two hydrogen atoms, connected by covalent bond. So hydrogen atoms are attached to one oxygen atom at an angle of 104.45. What is the name of liquid state of the H2O at standard condition? For temperature and price. Next fourth uh, topic of my presentation is foam mats. The major known ingredient used to make a foam mat, uh, memory foam mattresses are polyurethane, an additional chemical including diisocyanate and water. The combination of these three elements work together to give a memory foam mattress. Its density and velocity, as well as offering great support, and. Uh, Again, we discuss the chemistry of the uh, ingredient chosen in format. Polyurethane. Polyurethane is a polymer composed of an organic unit joined by carbamate. While most of the polyurethanes are thermosetting, polymers that don't matter when heated, some of the polyurethanes are also available. Polyurethane are produced by reacting an isocyanate containing two or more isocyanates. Per molecule within polyol containing on average two or more hydroxyl group per molecule in the presence of catalyst or by the activation ultraviolet light. Polyurethane helps conserve natural resources and help preserve the environment by reducing energy. With its excellent strength to weight ratio, insulation properties, and durability and versatility. That's all about my topic. Thank you so much.